it has my letter. Oh, that's very kind. That's very kind of you. Thank it's you a so fruit much. snack. Yeah, it's good vitamin C. It's good for you. I'll probably have to hide these from a boo. What do you think? Oh, oh, oh! You should never give candies to a boo. Sometimes candies can be bad for a boo. You since he's really that small, who knows? Yeah. It can when easily give him a stomach ache. He gets kind of crazy. That's why. Right. We'll that's why well, I'm gonna recommend that. Way. You know, just well, keep the candy away from a boo. Anyway, what do you think that letter I wrote for you? Oh yes, I'll have it's, to read it when I get back to the palace. Sir, it's a note both of my appreciation and my feelings that I think of you as my one of my good true friends. It's very kind of you. Thank you I mean, so much. We may be friends on the outside, but we're but we're family on the inside. This is why I think of all of you, especially my true love, Pinocchio. He's That's my boyfriend. Nice. Pinocchio's you know, your boyfriend? Yeah. Okay. And since I'm dressed as him, I'm known as Pinonia. You know what Stromboli calls me? Pinonia the Puppet Princess. Really? Wow. And, and while Pinocchio are in love, I think I feel like I have to title him Pinocchio the Puppet Prince because he's more like the Prince of the Puppets and Toys. Let's be your diamond in the rough, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, you be on the lookout. If a boo sees a basket, he loves rummaging through them. So oh, don't worry. Field, all right? If I feel like, like moving, I will just look down. Thank you so much for the snacks. You too. No, Trick or treat. Bye. Hey, Tapato. I didn't know you come here so early. You got here early? Oh, that's my doll. I bought him yesterday. <laughs> he reminds you of your son. <laughs> hey, isn't he cute? <laughs> Say, how is your son? Pinocchio is you, right? And great to know he's fine. Oh, by the way, did you notice I was the one who delivered the cookies and snack yesterday? <laughs> I know I know you and Pinocchio love cookies, that's why I delivered them to you. So, happy trick or treat. I wonder what's gonna happen if Pinocchio is getting getting a permission to have a day off from school so he can come here. Especially I'm, I have a feeling it was Blueberry the Blueberry's doing teleporting him into Disneyland instead of taking a walk. It'd take a long adventure. Anyway, great seeing you, Tepato. <laughs> Take a treat. Thank you so much. I think it's best for me to give them the gift later until they're on the stair to the door of break room. So it's not the best time for me to give them the trick or treat gift right now. Not yet. Let's wait later. a good mother to the kids tells like she's gonna have Jane Darling in the future. Oh, hi Peter Pan. Are you today? I'm doing K. Are you two heading off to the break room? The you what? know, the room where you take a break. I don't know. Because what that is. that's why I got it it's for you. Huh? It's for you. Is that a treat for me? Yes. I'll and take I that. Oh, sure. Oh, that's your name on it. I'll put it in the treehouse. Sure. The lost boys don't eat it. I can read it to you later. Oh and uh, oh of course Wendy. And here's one cookie too. And the, and the fruit snack too. It was very nice. Of course, this blue matches your dress and your and your ribbon on your ponytail. Perfect. All the shades of blue. Yep. Like that's why that's why I picked the packet with the blue color on oh, it. You. And it matches your eyes. Oh, your you. beautiful sapphire eyes. Cause you're, oh yeah. And of course, your eyes they are beautifully blue as sapphire that matches your dress. And of course, that's why I call you feisty oh, and yeah? spunky too. Very nice. Spunky as in brave. I have no idea what those words mean. Oh, oh sure. uh, the blue one? They're, they're the mini chocolate chip cookies. Oh, that sounds delicious. That's why I thought you like cookies. I know the one food you don't like is vegetables. That's correct. I do not like vegetables. <laughs> the one vegetable I will eat is candy corn. That's why I thought typical kids never like vegetables. Even though they seem typical, but that seems realistic. Right. It was wonderful to see you. You too, and trick or treat. Bye. Oh, and you're welcome about the treat. I just thought you deserved these treats too, Wendy. Yes. This is why I'm calling you Wendy Darling, my darling. Yes. He just done that once or twice. He knows. Okay. And I bet you're going to be a great mother, just like to your future daughter, Jane. Yes, I'm sorry. Bye, Wendy. I guess Peter Pan really did fly off. I'm happy he deserves a treat. And so is Wendy, my darling friend. 
I don't know why I call her my darling because I thought she's a pretty friend to me. Now, let's see. Is Goofy or anyone here? Let's find out. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Mad Hatter? And there's Alice! The one with the blonde hair with the black bow. Alice! I wonder where they're up to right now. Oh, sorry. Oh, hello there. Hello. Oh, hi, Alice. Oh, my name's not Alice. My name's oh, no, I'm talking to her. Oh, I thought the blonde you were hair. Oh, oh, I, and hi, Mad well, Hatter. Continue. What are you two off to? Oh, I don't know. We haven't decided. Are you off to the break room? You know, the room where you take a break. You mean the tea room? Yeah, it's so hot. I mean, that's an excellent idea. Okay. If it were up to me, I would spend okay. all day in the tea room. I got, I got these gifts for you. Oh, oh, look at that. You know, one for Alice and, and one for you, Mad Hatter. Oh. Oh. And it has a note on it. Are you sure you want us to have it forever and ever? Sure. That, after all, You're it, absolutely sure? Yes. Is that three times? And, after Thank all, you. you know the old ones say, it's better to give than to receive. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. You want to come? You, and this one's for you, Alice. Oh, I just, I thought you might like More rainbow problems. sprinkles. Cold Forest is rainbow. It's like a little teapot. You're not good. <laughs> And, and the chocolate bars for a Mad Hatter. Oh, I love it. Uh -huh. It has my notes of feelings and appreciation. Oh, thank you. It, it reveals my deepest secret feelings about you two. Oh, that's very nice. Like I think of you two as my friends. Oh, and you've got a conscience on your shoulder. Chimney Cricket. I want to get him a conscience like that. I think he needs one. Oh, I do have a conscience. His name's the March Hare. <laughs> oh, the rabbit. Oh, I the brown do. one. Yes, of course I can. <laughs> Glad they left. Oh, and don't don't worry, Alice. The, the gift I gave you is not going to make you grow big or shrink smaller. Oh, don't oh, worry. Oh, well, that's too bad. I would love to see her get me to get smaller. It's a special store where there's no witch magic or something. There's no or Wonderland magic in it. There's this is Sicily. So it's it's ordinary. Uh, and you're welcome about the treats. <laughs> Tea party? I don't know what tea party are they talking about. Unless the break room. They sure are friendly. The I don't know. You people think Matt Hatter is like coming from the madhouse, but. I think he's pretty goofy. You can say he's positively goofy, charming, and friendly. And you can say he's wacky and well, not exactly wacky, goofy. Goofy as goofy. <laughs> and he's got a good looking shoes. Very slanted and surrealism. You know, sur you know, surrealistic shoes. Very neat. I think what people are looking for is surrealistic looking shoes. That's why they're looking for quirkiness instead of the same old boring things. Pop culture I was talking about. Historically pop culture. <laughs> well, Timony, it looks like my mission of delivering the trick-or-treat gifts to Alice and Matt Hatter is done. I'm feeling happy that I teach them that it's better to give than to receive. Because that's called generosity. Generosity is part of love and friendship. Magic of friendship is all I believe in. I don't know what tea room, but let's find out. <laughs>